Thank God for preserving your life and that of your entire household. My name is Reverend Clifford Gaddafi Kassim of the Initiators of Change Ministries. I want to personally welcome you to Manna from Heaven. What I want you to do is please do well to get your notepad, get your pen, get your Bible and stay tuned as we journey into the mind of God. I'll be back right after the message. Stay tuned. The third part or sector of Jabez's prayer is Jabez prayed that God's hand will rest upon him. This prayer of Jabez simply means guide my destiny, O God. Now listen to me very, 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 very carefully. It is dangerous to contact and then operate wealth or power void of God's guidance. And the reason for this statement is life is too mysterious to be lived, void of God's guidance. In this dimension of existence, wickedness is real. In this dimension of existence, there are codes that need to be decoded in order to experience glory in a unique way. In order to get certain doors to be opened onto your destiny. In order to get the systems of this dimension of existence to synchronize onto your heart desire. There are codes embedded in this dimension of existence. Again, there are mysteries embedded in this dimension of existence. This is why you need the guidance of God in everything you do. If you try to live life devoid of the guidance of God, you can easily walk straight to the devil, hand over your life to the devil for destruction. You can easily walk straight onto destruction. You can easily walk straight onto bondage. That is why Jesus said unto his disciples, I will pray unto the Father, and he shall give you another helper who shall guide you, who shall teach you. Why would Jesus pray such prayers? Jesus knew that life in this dimension of existence is too mysterious to be lived devoid of the guidance of God. And many are in dimension of calamity today. Many are in horrible, terrible marriages today. Many are in horrible and then terrible situations today. All because they lived life devoid of God's guidance. As a result of that, their carnal dimension of existence led them directly onto destruction. Led them directly onto the wrong man, onto the wrong woman to marry. Led them directly onto the wrong job that wasted their time. Many have wasted their time in this dimension of existence all because of a job they got themselves involved with. They wasted their life. That job never brought prosperity unto them. It never brought glory unto them. Rather, it brought stress. It brought health issues unto them. And it crowned their personality with what is known as poverty. So life in this dimension of existence is too mysterious to be lived devoid of the guidance of God. And I want to tell you this, embedded in this dimension of existence are several ways. And these ways can lead you to a realm of existence. Or they will definitely lead you to a realm of existence. The Bible says, there's a way that seems right unto a man. But at the end of the day, they are ways. It never said they are way, but it said they are ways of destruction. This gives us a clue that embedded in this dimension of existence are ways. Are ways. Some are ways of destruction. Some are ways of poverty. Some are ways of sorrow. Some are ways of rise and fall. Some are ways 
of sickness. Some are ways of calamity. Some are ways of life. Some are ways of prosperity. Some are ways of progress. Some are ways of glory. And depending on the one you use will determine your destination. I pray for you today that the hand of the Lord come mightily upon your life. And as the hand of the Lord comes mightily upon your life, the Lord lead you in this evil world, in this mysterious world. May the Lord lead you onto path of glory. The Lord lead you onto path of testimony. The Lord lead you onto path of beauty, onto path of abundance. In the name of Jesus. So it is important for your life to be guided by God. Your decisions to be guided by God. The steps you take in this dimension of existence, it is important for them to be guided by God. I want to tell you something which will be a shock to you. And this is what I want to project onto you. Jesus could succeed in his earthly ministry because he yielded totally to God. I'm talking about to the guidance of God. He yielded the totality of his personality to the guidance of God. And the following Bible passages brings to light what I am projecting onto you. John chapter 5 verses 30 to 32. John chapter 8 verses 28. These Bible passages brings to light that Jesus succeeded in his early ministry by yielding the totality of his personality unto the guidance of God. That's why Jesus said, I never do anything except that which I hear from the Father. He never took the step and asked God to follow him. Rather, he made God to take the step and then he followed God. Many of you take steps and then you ask God to follow you, which is an error. You must let God take the step while you walk closely with him. Hallelujah. So Jabez knew that contacting wealth minus the guidance of God can cause him to end up like the prodigal child. He may lose everything God has given unto him. He may lose it and inherit poverty and inherit calamity and inherit evil. He knew this truth. So he said unto God, let your hand come upon my life and guide me in this life. Because this life is too mysterious to be lived, devoid of your guidance. Hallelujah. Let's move on to the fourth sector or section or part of Jabez's prayer. And the fourth sector or part of Jabez's prayer is he prayed that God would keep him from evil. He prayed that God would keep him from evil. Now listen to me very, 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 very carefully. In this realm of life, wickedness is real. Satanic oppression is also real. In this realm of life, somebody can dash you money and take your glory. Somebody can dash you clothes and kill you. Or use you as a sacrifice for power. You can dash one who is naked dressed. And that person can use that dress against your destiny. This is the realm we dwell in. Wickedness is real. Oppression is also real. And the only way men and women can be protected from the evils of this world is to be hid in God. If you are not hid in God, it will be difficult for you to escape wickedness that dwells in this dimension of existence. So remember I told you that wickedness exists in this dimension of existence. It exists. Personally, I've seen people do good to people. And those that they did good unto, use their good against them. I've seen people help their own friends get a job at their workplace. These friends were unemployed. Things were not better for them. Things were difficult for them. And they took the pain of talking to their bosses, convinced their boss, and their bosses gave these friends of theirs job, only for them to come to the job field worked against them and they were sacked 
there's a realm we dwell in people take delight in wickedness people take delight in doing things that doesn't bring glory unto god wickedness in this dimension of existence is real let me tell you this always encounter god before you walk out of your room always and the reason why i'm telling you this is you don't know what the evil one has programmed into the day against you that's why when you sleep and wake up the first thing you must look for is your bible the second thing you must do is to have fellowship with god encounter god before walking out there and when you encounter god and you walk out there and there is any evil prepared or projected against your destiny because you have encountered god god has empowered you with his personality so god will swallow that evil like the rod of aaron swallowed the rods of the egyptians encounter god and anytime somebody dashes you something please pray on those things don't be quick let's say somebody dash you a dress don't be quick to wear the dress pray over the dress before you wear it why wickedness is real in this dimension of existence so jabez knew this truth i am sharing with you that is why he sought for supernatural covering from the lord over his life i pray for you today god begin to shield the totality of your being from evil i pray that god will release his fire upon your path any evil programmed in your path against your destiny god cause that evil to begin to work together for your good any gathering against your life i speak to that gathering to end in total confusion in the name of jesus i pray that the power of god will surround you the angels of god will surround you in your going out and coming in the lord be with you defend you protect you even as you sleep the lord protect you from evil in the name of jesus the lord lighten his light upon you the lord releases blessings upon your destiny hallelujah so these are the four sectors or part of jabez's prayer number one he prayed that god should bless him number two he prayed that god should enlarge his coast number three he prayed that the hand of god should rest upon his life and number four he prayed that god will protect him from evil and like jabez we can connect ourselves to these four sector of his prayer and cry out unto god glory be to god glory be to god glory be to our lord and master and savior jesus christ i believe strongly you've been blessed by the spirit inspired sermon it is my prayer that god will keep you under his power god will cause the energies of the spirit to take over your entire being and god will lighten your destiny with the spirit of favor I want to personally invite you to worship with us. So in case you want to join us to worship God, to experience God, to have encounters that dwells in the dimension of God, then you can visit us these days. 